I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Goodwill, right? Well, there's a site called shopgoodwill.com and uh, I've become a bit obsessed with it. I procured quite a few kits from it uh, and I know quite a few other people in the Gunpla community have found this as well. So I just wanted to go ahead and share it. I know I'm creating a bit of competition for all of us, but I just think that there's some really unique, cool kits that are on this website. Basically, most of the time it's either Old kits, I don't know why people are donating old kits, but old kits are getting donated uh, and they're either unbuilt uh, or they are already built. I actually have a current bid in for this Master Gundam like action model. It's a minute away here. Hobby Volt is the name that I use for it. You don't see who is winning in these actual bid wars, but you'll get like the first two letters. I'm trying to see. Oh, did it end already? <gasps> no, it ended. Oh, wait, that means I won. Oh, I won. I won. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I will show you on another one uh, the example of what happens when you have somebody who is in a bid war with you, everything like that. Uh, you guys know how eBay works. It's a similar concept. So here's the Master Gundam right here. It, as you can tell, it's very poorly taken care of. It's probably from the early 2000s if I had to guess. I'll have to see when I get it since I won it. <laughs> but I thought this one was kind of cool because it says action figure, right? But it's not an action figure. It's legitimately a like model kit all the way down to having the instructions for it. But enough of that rambling, this will be soon on my channel, so make sure you subscribe. If you are brand new, uh, just subscribe. I don't know, come back. Make sure you come back if you're already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Like, this is <laughs> mildly triggering, but uh, Transformer, Gundam, like, they, they have some cool things. But sometimes you can run into some of the anime, uh, some manga, anything like that. It's, a, it's as if you were thrifting for Gunpla, which is, prominent in Japan but not here in America so that's why I feel like I kind of enjoy doing it and why I actually really like it <sighs> SD Gundams like come on like uh, I'm just gonna scroll through I'm gonna leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out here's uh, an example of what I was talking about there are some kits that are already built um, and then you can go through and look at them uh, I actually have my eye on Super Gundam here this is a kit that I don't see that often I do not own it and I kind of want it. It's got a couple of days left on the auction. Uh, a tip for this too. If you are wanting to bid for anything on here, go ahead and put what you are willing to pay for it. And what'll happen is it will, as people are bidding, it will auto bid the smaller amount of what you are willing to pay until it's eventually capped out. So that's why some people feel like they're being botted when they go and do the actual, you know, bidding here. But don't worry, there's no there's no botting that I'm aware of. Um, just put what you are willing to pay for it and it will like nick up the price to where you get it. So you get it at the low, lowest possible price. The only thing with this is because it is, you know, Gundam kits are kind of heavy um, and it's Goodwill. You have a shipping and a processing fee. So remember most of the time, sometimes that's about another $15. Depends on where it's coming from, where it's going. So I really want the Super Gundam. Um, you can tell that it has two days left and one hour. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already been beaten. Um, yeah, so see, it will not tell you who the bidder is, which I guess is pretty smart. But if you see uh, hobby and then, so it would be H and then T, that's me. You're fighting against me and I'm gonna win. So here's the time. It works exactly as eBay does. Um, and all of the proceeds go to Goodwill, which is obviously uh, awesome, amazing. Um, and then as you would, if you went to a Goodwill store, you can round up too. It all goes to a good cause. Like it, it's good. It's good. But this, this guy, this guy I'm wanting to get, um, I'm probably blowing up my spot here by telling you guys, cause now you guys are going to go and get it. But ugh, I want this kit. I want this kit. If one of you guys gets it, I have a PO box. It's listed down below. Send it to me. If you, if you win it, if you win it and you don't want it, or you want me to buy it, let me know, let me know. I'll buy it because I want this one. Um, sometimes you can find DVDs. Uh, I suggest going to Right Stuff Anime for getting Gundam uh, DVDs. They have some of the best prices that I've seen. Don't bother with Amazon, don't bother anywhere else. But I would suggest Right Stuff Anime. I will also leave that link down below. Sometimes they have video games. Video games are cool as well. Um, ZZ Gundam, I haven't built mine yet. 
this this kit's several years old now. I haven't built mine yet. So this kind of reminded me that I need to build this guy. This, this right here is the lifeblood of why I enjoy actually going on this site. These older kits here. So we have some G Gundam kits. We have a team. Uh, just, I don't know. Um, I have my eye on this one too. It's six days away. So I'm not even going to look at it until it gets closer to the end. But like, I mean, come on, like it, it's an older Zaku kit. You know, I love Shars kit. What I love about this one in particular, if you see right here, it's the level six. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but in this era, all of the Gundam kits had levels like level one, two, three, four, five, six, and they were degrees of difficulty for these kits. And I don't know, I just feel like I kind of wish that that still existed today. I understand why it can't, but back in the day, that was so cool, so cool. So you can just go through, you can see what the quality of it is. When you see that it's all bagged like this, what's, you know, what's the risk really? Um, every kit that I bought from here has had every single piece and the bag is intact. The worst that you'd get is some kind of oldness on the box and that's it. Um, but as you can see, everything is here all the way down to the display card, which these are always my favorite to hang and put inside of a, a photo frame to actually hang for art. As you can see here, you have every single pamphlet, you have the decals, everything. Um, they take very good photos. You can also contact the seller to make sure that everything's there if you just want to make sure that everything's good. You know, it's something cool about jumping back into the old day, whether you were too young or you didn't have the money for it back then to be able to get it now at a fairly decent price. I, I think it's worth your time to check it out. Yeah, so that's it. Um, that's all. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I just won that Master Gundam and I was like, you know, I really want to let people know about this just so that they're aware of how freaking cool it is. Let me know if you guys have ever used this site. Also, let me know if you guys have run into anything other than eBay or some sort of thrifting site or a proxy service, something that you like using. Leave it down in the comment section below because I would love to know if you guys have like a special like honeypot section to get like gunpla kits, anything to help a sister out, anyone out, anyone. If you want to share, please let me know. Leave it down in the comment section below and help your fellow gunpla brother. Uh, that is it for today. I don't know. It was just short and quick. I thought this was really cool. I know a few people who know about it, so I just wanted to let everyone know about it. Uh, and come back to my channel. I have quite a few really cool kits that I have gotten from this site within the last year and a half. I don't know. The, the upsurge of Gundam kits that they have on this site has been just extraordinary. I don't know who is donating their Gunpla kit, but... I, I, I hope that it was chosen for them to donate because if it was not chosen for them to donate, I have a bone to pick with the people who have taken a fellow Gunpla Builders collection and uh, hocked it to Goodwill. I just, I just want a word, just, just a single, single word. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, yeah, I am continuing to pump out content. Uh, I'm really, really, really wanting to break through that wall that seems to stop Gunpla YouTube creators from getting to like the top, like, you know, like Mecha, like Zaku, all those people. I'm trying to figure it out. Once I figure it out, I want to be able to spread Gunpla YouTube into all these talented, amazing people that I literally watch every single day that are just getting overshadowed and buried under the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to break through for you guys. So please, please, please share my content. Please subscribe, comment down below, anything help, whatever you can do, I would be eternally grateful. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon, very soon. I have quite a few videos in the work, uh, like a lot, I have a lot. So please come back. Thank you so much. I will be streaming very soon too. Make sure you check out my Twitch and bye.
Now, I'm somebody who kind of likes the challenge of buying someone's previously built model kit and then like refreshing it, especially if they painted it. I want to make it the same color scheme as they did, but maybe better. I don't know. It's just one of those things I enjoy doing. 